Welcome to the Philippine Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I'm Ray Louis Gamboa, standing in for my father who has been the host of this show for the past 21 years. We'd like to thank all those who have sent their prayers for our dad for a speedy recovery. The doctors have advised him to take it easy for a while so you'll be seeing me for the next few episodes. Moving on, here's a menu of some of our features on this edition of your electronic magazine exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market. The mid-size SUV from Nissan, the Terra 2.5 VL 4x2 7.8T, and a subcompact sedan from Toyota, the 2019 Vios 1.3e CVT. We'll also have a glimpse of some of the latest automobile models and concept cars from around the world. This week, we have the 2020 Nissan Rogue Sport and the 2020 Toyota Sequoia TRD Pro plus a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two compact SUVs, the Toyota Rush and the Mazda CX-5. Together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall have the recently held Isuzu Philippines Fuel Eco Challenge as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus and we'll be right back after this short break. Designed to get back from any adventure. Every day without fail. I'm getting stronger. Being tough is not enough, so we keep testing. In the pursuit of ultimate toughness and reliability, the new Strata, engineered beyond tough. Drive your ambition, Mitsubishi Motors. Be comfortable when you're out of your comfort zone and embrace a wider world of adventure. BRV, rise above your limits. These are the Fuel Masters. Every time they're on the court, it's high performance. Every time I'm on the road, I can also expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. We made it! The next generation Phoenix Fuels, now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. All new El Tiga debut. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Nissan. What we have here is the Nissan Terra VL 4x2 780 variant. As usual, let's start with the powertrain. Under the hood of the Terra is a 2.5 YD25 DDTi inline four cylinder diesel engine that gives out 190 horsepower and 450 Newton meter of torque. Since the Terra we have here is the 4x2 VL variant, it is made into a seven speed automatic transmission with manual mode. For the suspension, the Terra uses an independent double wishbone with coil spring and stabilizer bar at the front and a multi-five link with stabilizer bar at the rear. 
This suspension setup provides passengers the comfort they need when passing through road imperfections. Our next stop, the exterior and interior. When it comes to terrace design, one can instantly tell that its look doesn't veer away from the Navara. Their hood, the fenders, and the character lines almost look the same. But what defines the terrace exterior are the LED headlamps with styled LED position lamp with auto on, off, and follow me home functions, and the daytime running lights. Moreover, the 18-inch alloy wheels further add character to the car. Meanwhile, inside the Terra, the seats are wrapped in leather, providing that elegant and cozy vibe all over. Additionally, the Terra can fit up to 7 people in its spacious space. Whether you're with your family or friends, you can expect utmost comfort aboard the Terra. And because the seats are what makes it extra special. The driver's seat comes equipped with an 8-way power adjust with power adjust lumbar function, while the second row folds and tumbles in one motion, thanks to the one-touch remote fold and tumble seats. For additional cargo space, the Terra's flat folding seats can easily be configured according to your load, making it flexible and convenient for all kinds of travel. Moreover, for additional comfort and convenience, the Terra has a total of 14 cup holders which could be found in every corner of the car. The technologies that are available in the Terra are also one of the highlights of this car. Air conditioning would not be a problem with this car as it is equipped with the dual-zone automatic temperature control that benefits the passengers in front. While there's the rear seat air conditioning with personal vents to provide cool air for the rest of the passengers. The Terra also has a reliable infotainment system consisting of a 7-inch capacitive touchscreen display audio with seamless smartphone integration, Wi-Fi, tuner, USB, iPod, Bluetooth, Navi Ready app, and video playback function. Audio is enjoyable through six speakers. There's even an 11-inch flip-down rear entertainment system that adds fun to road trips. However, with all these features, there's one thing that makes the Terra a dream mid-size SUV when it comes to having advanced technologies, the Nissan Intelligent Mobility. This brand's advanced technology, the Terra is equipped with Blind Spot Warning, which alerts the driver when it detects vehicles hidden from sight. Lane Departure Warning, which gives the driver a visual and an audible alert when it detects an unintentional lane departure and Hill Start Assist, which holds pressure on the brake for a few seconds, providing the driver enough time to switch from the brake pedal to the accelerator. Moreover, the intelligent around view monitor provides a clear 360-degree view, allowing the driver to park perfectly with ease and avoid obstacles, while the rear parking sensors lend a helping hand when backing up. In addition, there's the intelligent rear view mirror that goes from being a mirror to being a monitor with just a flip of the switch. latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. Be comfortable when you're out of your comfort zone and embrace a wider world of adventure. BRV, rise above your limits. Designed to get back from any adventure. Every day without fail. I'm getting stronger. Being tough is not enough, so we keep testing. In the pursuit of ultimate toughness and reliability, the new Strata, engineered beyond tough. Drive your ambition, Mitsubishi Motors.
Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has antioxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph or visit Autoplus Sports Zentrium located along EDSA, across Wide Plains. fine dining, a romantic garden wedding, a relaxed casual meal, or an important business event, Illustrado is the place to go. Aside from its famed paella, the Illustrado restaurant, which is located within the history-laden walled city of Intramuros, is also the favorite destination of food gourmands for its famous calios and lengua and other classic gustatory offerings. Illustrado restaurant, only for the foodies. The things that make my day. My mini-me. My kind of jam. My passion. My blend of coffee. My inspiration. That's all good with the all-new Vios. My Vios. My drive. Welcome back to Auto Focus, and we now have the latest auto industry news. As Kia relaunches in the Philippines under AC Industrials, the brand also brought the Saluto to the market with a grand launching event held at the Makati Shangri-La. This is a very special evening for us because it is the official announcement and celebration of the Ayala Kia partnership. So these are two global brands working together to serve the Philippine automotive industry. And uh, apart from the announcement of that partnership, after a long discussion, now we also announced the first box that we revealed, which is going to answer a good, sizable segment of the market. And that is the uh, Kia Soluto. The Saluto is powered by a 1.4-liter dual CCVT gasoline engine that produces 95 PS of power and 132 Nm of torque. Combined with a spacious interior, as well as standard 7-inch touchscreen audio with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, 6-speaker system, rear-view camera, and steering wheel controls. The Kia Saluto is our player in the small car sedan segment that's sizable. And uh, we think that because of the features that we have uh, picked for it, the design elements that we have incorporated, plus, of course, the pricing, we think that a lot of customers will be able to uh, enjoy this uh, fantastic uh, model. The Saluto joins Kia Philippines' roster of vehicles, including the Picanto and Rio, the Sportage, the Sorento, the Grand Carnival, and the K2500. Suzuki Philippines took members of the motoring media to a two-day test drive event to showcase the power and capabilities of the new and improved Ertiga. 15 units of the new Ertiga drove all the way to the Gaitai Highlands, conquering the 63.3-kilometer ride to the Highlands and then back to Suzuki Auto Passing. Through the activity field test drive event, Suzuki aims to showcase Ertiga's strength and performance. Moreover, the improved comfort and convenience features of the seven-seater allowed every passenger to enjoy the scenic view of the Taal Volcano and surrounding mountains. The uh, most important issue is the stylish and the comfortness of the car and very competitive price among the competitors. 
Suzuki said that they believe that the new Ortiga would be a great choice for Filipinos, hence bringing the model here. This is uh, because of the uh, uh, behavior of Filipino customers. This is a family car and very good choice for Filipinos. Suzuki also said they are aiming to exceed the sales of the previous generation of the Ortiga. The previous one is the average of sales is about 600 units in a per month. So we want to achieve more. Toyota Motor Philippines has officially brought the all-new RAV4 to the Philippines. The grand launching event was held at the BGC Amphitheater. Far from the usual setup, the grand launching was open to the public. We wanted the public to immediately see what we're launching today. They were very excited about this model because the RAV4 is actually the world's best-selling SUV crossover. But majority of the sales actually can be accounted for in the United States, in North America. Toyota said bringing the all-new RAV4 to the country signals the model's big comeback. There are many SUV crossovers in the Philippines, but for the first time, this new RAV4 will have a very aggressive and dynamic styling. Now in its fifth generation, the all-new RAV4 is an upgraded, more premium design matched with better performance and capability made possible by the new Toyota Global Architecture or the TNGA. For this new RAV4, we review the technology of the Toyota New Global Architecture. So this is the new global platform of Toyota, which is incorporating a lot of new technology in it. One is the laser welding spots. We've increased laser welding for better rigidity and riding comfort. Together with this new platform also, the engine bay is also lying lower, which has a better lower center of gravity, which in cornering is better also. For the exterior and interior, the all-new RAV4 comes with full updated features and major design facelift. The all-new RAV4 does not only present a very new, stylish, and sportier and muscular design, it also offers a very powerful and dynamic performance. And uh, its interior is uh, superior as well. It has top-notch safety features. Our high-end variant has a panoramic moonroof which is the first that we have in our model lineup. And so we think that this model really presents a lot of excitement and we believe that the market will be very interested to try out our new RAV4. The all-new RAV4 is powered by a 2.5-liter dynamic force engine, a dual VVT-i and VVT-ie engine, and is coupled with a direct-shift 8-speed automatic transmission. We've enhanced this engine. This is a new engine. It's the same displacement as the old one, a 2.5 liter. However, we've increased the horsepower from 179 to 203 horsepower now. Caltex has officially opened the doors of its newest service station along EDSA. Situated along Edsa Corner Scott Borromeo Street, Quezon City, the new station provides access to Caltex with Tectron Platinum, silver or diesel fuels to motorists and residents along the southbound lane of the intersection. This side that has mostly motors traffic and also the population concentration, so we look and we choose for the strategic site to grow our network and this is part of our growth strategy and also the location that we prefer. This site has a very huge potential. This is across EDSA, it's a main tour of air. So we really expect so much from this station. We are expecting the completion of the quick serve restaurants here at the back. So eventually that's gonna start by end Feb and hopefully opening up in June. So that's gonna boost more sales for this site. Also with the new station, Caltex hopes to sustain the growth it achieved in 2018. Caltex's surface station network in the country currently exceeds 600 stations, including six that opened in the past three months alone. Normally, the, the retail business is actually very competitive. So we have what you call the drop-in motorists and we have the local or in-house account. So we're tackling those two fronts. So first, we are improving the service here. We are coming up with co-locators here so that we attract more drop-in motorists. At the same time, we're also soliciting the in-house accounts. So that's a combination of uh, the, the market that we have for this site. And certainly, this is another representation of our growth. And Caltex brand has been the Philippines market for decades. 
And this is just a natural extension of our brand growth and our service and our quality fills and lubricants to our customers in the Philippines. So we'll grow this side just like what we've been in Philippines to provide quality fuels and lubricants. And we'll grow more side to bring the network to the convenience of our motorist needs and requirement. During the station's grand opening, motorists who fueled up enjoyed a 10 pesos per liter discount for Platinum with Tecron, Silver with Tecron, and Diesel with Tecron D for up to 60 liters through a promo called Caltex Gimme 10. Along with this, a 50 pesos per bottle discount was available for synthetic engine oils and a 20 pesos per liter discount was given on premium mineral engine oils. Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine, takes another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. Ah, the things that make my day. My mini-me. My kind of jam. My passion. My blend of coffee. My inspiration. That's all good with the all new Vios. My Vios, my drive. Be comfortable when you're out of your comfort zone and embrace a wider world of adventure. BRV, rise above your limits. SM Mall of Asia lights up the skies once again at the 10th Philippine International Pyro Musical Competition. This February, SM Mall of Asia together with Platinum Fireworks Inc. will house 10 competing countries who will take on a battle of breathtaking fireworks performances amidst symphony of sounds. Experience the jaw-dropping, awe-inspiring show as each country owns the Manila skies every Saturday night from February 16 to March 23, 2019. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. All new El Tiga debut. Motoring Today is now on the web. Watch this episode or other past episodes of the country's longest running motoring program any time of the day by logging on to our website, motoringtoday.ph. Motoring Today is now online. Just the click away. Welcome back to this edition of Autofocus, the country's premier automobile TV and online magazine. Here's our feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the latest automobile models belonging to the same category on head-to-head. In this episode, we have the Mazda CX-5 AWD Skyactiv and the Toyota Rush G-Grade. The CX-5 is powered by a 2.5-liter Skyactiv gas that gives out 175 horsepower and 420 Nm of torque. These numbers are paired up with Mazda Skyactiv Drive automatic transmission. Since the CX-5 is one of Mazda's latest models, it comes equipped with G-Vectoring Control, a system that enhances chassis behavior which is also part of the Sky Active Dynamics. Meanwhile, under the hood of the Rush G-Grade is a 1.5-liter dual VVTi gasoline engine that produces 102 horsepower and 134 Nm of torque. The engine is coupled with a 4-speed automatic transmission. Comparing the two compact SUV's powertrains, the Rush G-Grade's engine is much simpler than of the CX-5's. Nevertheless, both of them do the job. Looking closely at the CX-5, there's no denying that it's crafted under Mazda's enhanced Kodo Soul of Motion design concept. Having said that, the CX-5 showcases a sportier and more dynamic look that is compared to its predecessor. 
It has a more detailed grille and matching fog light frames topped with new front and rear full LED lights and redesigned 19 inches alloy wheels. Let's move on to the Rush G-Grade's exterior. At a glance, the design of it looks familiar, something you would think you would have seen before. You're probably right, since it resembles other Toyota SUVs. But if you look at its details, you would find out that it has its own distinguished features. What makes it look sharp is the front fascia that comes with LED headlights with integrated LED daytime running lights that blend with the grille. It's time to check out the interiors of our two featured cars. As you hop inside the CX-5, make sure to have a feel of the seat material. They are wrapped in standard leather, but the elegance that comes with it is no basic. The electronic dual-zone air conditioners are also one of the treats in this model. Moreover, the CX-5 is equipped with reclining rear seats. But the real highlight of the CX-5's interior is the infotainment system. As mentioned before, the CX-5 is Mazda's latest, so it's just fitting that it's equipped with the brand's new infotainment system, the MZD Connect. It comes with a 7-inch touchscreen LCD monitor with MP3, auxiliary in, 2 USB, and Bluetooth function. Audio is enjoyable courtesy of 10-speaker Bose sound system. It works with a smartphone for hands-free and voice-activated connectivity system to apps, maps, social media, entertainment, SMS, and email. The touchscreen is positioned within the driver's line of sight with its multi-function control buttons located on the floor console and can be operated by feel so the driver's attention won't be diverted from the road. Meanwhile, inside the Rush G-Grade, it's all modern and high-end as well even though most of the materials used are plastic. Almost everything is in color black, highlighted with silver accents and some cream-colored trim. Over here, the dashboard is highlighted by a 7-inch touchscreen that can connect to any smartphone via Bluetooth or a USB port, much like the CX-5. The auto control in the Rush, which is optimized by 8 speakers, is attached on the steering wheel so the driver could easily operate it with just one tap. Additionally, to make it easier and more convenient for the driver as well, the Rush offers tilt steering features to move up the steering wheel position. Comparing the two compact SUVs interiors and infotainment systems, both of them serve what the drivers and passengers need. But if we're really looking at differences, it's worth noting that the CX-5 can seat 5 passengers while the Rush G-Grade can seat up to 7 people. Now, on the topic of safety and security, both the CX-5 and the Rush G-Grade have the important features such as 6 airbags and anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution and brake assist to name a few. More about the automobile here on Autofocus as we usher in our segment featuring the autos of the world, spotlighting concept cars as well as newly launched and about to be launched automobile models from around the world. For your exciting viewing on this edition of your automobile electronic magazine, we have the 2020 Nissan Rogue Sport. Let's watch this! The 2020 Nissan Rogue Sport receives a fresh new front end appearance for the 2020 model year, along with redesigned rear tail lamps, revised trim level, and option package content. Set for sale in the fall of 2019, the 2020 Rogue Sport expands on the long list of enhancements for the 2019 model year, which included the addition of available Pro Pilot Assist, Nissan Safety Shield 360 technology, updated audio system with standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and available Bose One audio system with 9 speakers. Most prominent among the 2020 Rogue Sport refinements is the new exterior design that offers a more technical feel, helping provide a greater separation from its Nissan Rogue stablemate. The new front fascia features a new hood, V-Motion grille, and bumper. The aggressive lighting treatment includes LED signature daytime running lights. The advanced Nissan Safety Shield 360, currently offered on SV and SL grades, 
will become standard on all 2020 Rogue Sport models, including the Base S grade. Part of the Nissan Intelligent Mobility Strategy, Safety Shield 360 includes automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection, rear automatic braking, lane departure warning, radar based appliance spot warning, rear cross traffic alert, and high beam assist. The innovative rear door alert system will continue to be offered as part of the Rogue Sport's long list of standard features. In addition, ProPilot Assist will again be available in 2020. ProPilot Assist is a single-lane hands-on driving assistance technology that eases driver workload by reducing the amount of driver acceleration, steering, and braking input under certain driving conditions, such as single-lane highway driving. The 2020 Rogue Sport will be offered in front-wheel and intelligent all-wheel drive configurations and in three well-equipped grade levels, S, SV, and SL. It will again be powered by a combination of a 141 horsepower 2.0 liter DOHE 16 valve inline four cylinder engine and extronic transmission with eco mode switch. above your limits. These are the Fuel Masters. Every time they're on the court, it's high performance. Every time I'm on the road, I can also expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. We made it! The next generation Phoenix Fuels, now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. comfortable when you're out of your comfort zone and embrace a wider world of adventure. BRV, rise above your limits. Designed to get back from any adventure. Every day without fail. Being tough is not enough, so we keep testing in the pursuit of ultimate toughness and reliability the new strata engineered beyond tough drive your ambition mitsubishi motors <laughs> welcome back to autofocus our special feature is next
with a preset 10 km route around Isuzu's headquarters in Binyan Laguna, the finalists took their Isuzu Mu X RZ4E SUV and D-Max RZ4E pickup for one final fuel economy run. Today is our culminating activity of the four months long Isuzu Fuel Eco Challenge. We have gathered here in our assembly plant in Laguna, our most fuel efficient driver from all over the Philippines to experience firsthand our RD4E model's capability to perform and the low fuel consumption. According to Isuzu, the Isuzu Fuel Eco Challenge is the company's way of promoting and advocating fuel-efficient driving among existing Isuzu vehicle owners and eventual Isuzu vehicle buyers. Moreover, the event also aimed to highlight the efficiency and power of the new Isuzu Mu X RZ4E SUV and the D-Max RZ4E pickup. These are uh, games of champions. We have invited all the champions of Isuzu Fuel Eco Run held at the dealer level and now they will be competing at the national level. We're very happy because we are actually promoting the RZ4E engine. Uh, the engine that we launched uh, recently, this is a very, very fuel efficient engine and uh, not only fuel efficient but it uh, contributes less emission and less harmful to the environment. By the end of the challenge, Isuzu awarded the six winners, three from Isuzu Mu X RZ4E category and three from the Isuzu D-Max RZ4E category. They were declared as the most efficient drivers and are set to enjoy an all-expense-paid trip for two to Thailand scheduled for April 1 to 4, 2019. The six winners were among the participants who went through a grueling process from September 17 to December 31, 2018 that screened over 40 Isuzu customers from all participating Isuzu dealers nationwide. Isuzu squeezed out the best fuel efficiency results from the Isuzu RZ4E Mu X and the Isuzu D-Max RZ4E during their test drives at the dealership. The best fuel efficiency ratings in these test drives qualify the drivers for the championship stage of the challenge. Installed on the, both the Isuzu D-Max and the Isuzu Mi X, and we're hoping that it's starting to get a lot of interest from customers. And the customers that we have here are actually bought D-Max and Mi Xs that are equipped with RCE Poe and, ber and are very happy with the performance of the RCE Poe. So we're hoping that they're already expert in driving the RCE Poe, and we're hoping to get very good results today. At the awarding ceremonies, Isuzu President Haji Mikoso lauded the winners and all those who participated in the challenge for being a timely reminder that Filipino drivers can save more on fuel expenses with the help of a fuel-efficient partner, the Isuzu Mu X and D-Max RZ4E. We have made this Isuzu Fuel Eco Challenges as part of our advocacy in promoting fuel efficient driving, which is necessary today. Given the predictable price of the fuel nowadays, our fuel efficient RZ4E, Mu X, and D Max are perfect partners of our economical drivers. Shell Pilipinas is the official fuel partner of the 2018 Isuzu Fuel Eco Challenge. And up next is another exciting feature on Autos of the World. This time around, the 2020 Toyota Sequoia TRD Pro. Let's watch this. Outdoor Adventure for 7 is about to go further off the beaten path than ever with the 2020 Toyota Sequoia TRD Pro, unveiled today at the Chicago Auto Show. With a chassis fortified by a TRD-tuned Fox Shock Absorber suspension, plus an array of proven off-road equipment specially designed or selected by Toyota Racing Development Engineers, the full-size Sequoia TRD Pro 
offers room for the whole family and an affinity for thrills. The 2020 Sequoia joins a roster of TRD Pro vehicles that includes the Tacoma mid-size and Tundra full-size pickups and 4Runner SUV. Introduced in 2014, the TRD Pro lineup emerged from Toyota's rich off-road racing heritage. The TRD Pro badge signifies a vehicle that's capable of going where ordinary pickups and SUVs fear to tread, while still retaining the comfort for daily driving. With its robust body-on-frame construction, four-wheel independent suspension, generous ground clearance, and powerful V8 engine, the Sequoia is already one of the most capable full-size SUVs on the market. The TRD Pro version comes standard with multi-mode four-wheel drive, which is optional in other Sequoia grades. Like all Sequoia models, the TRD Pro offers just one powertrain. Emphasis on power. The DOHC 5.7-liter iForce V8, which uses regular-grade gasoline, produces 381 horsepower and 401 pounds per feet of torque. It's teamed with a six-speed electronically controlled automatic transmission. Notably, the big V8 produces 90% of its peak torque at a low 2,200 RPM, a boon to towing. Compliant with the SAE J2807 towing standard, the Sequoia TRD Pro can tow up to 7,100 pounds and features an integrated tow hitch, driver-selectable tow haul transmission mode, and trailer sway control. The standard multi-mode four-wheel drive system uses a lockable Torsen Limited Slip Center Differential to apportion torque to the front and rear wheels, and a two-speed transfer case provides a low-range ratio for tackling step off-road trails. Low range is accessible on the fly via a rotary knob, while the center differential locks at the push of a button. Room for adventure. Designed to get back from any adventure. Every day without fail. I'm getting stronger. Being tough is not enough, so we keep testing. In the pursuit of ultimate toughness and reliability, the new Strata, engineered beyond tough. Drive your ambition, Mitsubishi Motors. Ah, the things that make my day. My mini me, my kind of jam. My passion, my blend of coffee, my inspiration. That's all good with the all new Vios. My Vios, my drive. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. All new El Tiga debut. out of your comfort zone and embrace a wider world of adventure. BRV, rise above your limits. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate here on Autofocus as we have our second car review this week.
In today's feature, we have the Toyota Vios 1.3e CVT variant. The 1.3-liter four-cylinder dual VVTi gasoline engine is capable of putting out 98 horsepower and 123 newton-meters of torque and is coupled with a continuously variable transmission. The suspension setup for this variant uses McPherson with coil spring at the front and torsion axle beam with coil spring at the rear. The setup supports the body size of the car nicely when it comes to facing road imperfections. There is also no worry about halting the car to a stop when needed. It is equipped with disc brakes at the front and drum brakes at the rear. Now on to the exteriors. The ECVT measures 1,730 millimeters by 1,475 millimeters by 2,550 millimeters, which is not too big and not too small. This perfect size is further highlighted by its looks and design, which adapts to the traits of mid-variants. It gets four-beam halogen headlights in place of LEDs, bulb-type taillights, fender-integrated turn signals, body-color door handles, and 15-inch alloy wheels. Inside, the change in the layout of the dash is the most noticeable. The modern feel of the exterior design is continued onto the interiors. The ECVT variant gets fabric upholstered seats, and it is among the few trims that get the leather-wrapped steering wheel, push-button engine start-stop, speed-sensing door locks, and automatic climate control. When it comes to entertainment, the ECVT variant is equipped with 7-inch touchscreen head unit with weblink, aux, and MP3 connectivity. Audio is courtesy of four speakers. For safety and security, the ECVT comes with Toyota's standard features, including multiple airbags, stability control, hill start assist, and anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution and brake assist. And that's all the focus for this week. And on behalf of my dad, Butch Gamboa, we hope you found this edition of your Automobile Electronic Magazine informative as well as entertaining. You can check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. Until the next time, this has been your host, Ray Louis Gamboa.